Good morning. Well, today we have a threshold to replace on a slab foundation. Fun, fun, fun. This one's even funner because the old one, I've done taking it out and landlord's uh, sewn it away. Here's what I had to do this one. This home has structural problems. There was a big crack running right down through here. Probably anywhere from a quarter to a half inch crack. Of course it was right where all the mounting holes was and the old threshold was loose. So I had to get some uh, repair, uh, quick set repair concrete. Um, mixed it up kind of thin and poured it in the crack. Then when that was set up, I mixed a little small batch, a little thicker, and went over the top. So it should all, it's, it was yesterday, so this is ready to go. Now the problem with that, normally you'd pull the old threshold out and you'd already have your mounting holes. No mounting holes in this one. <laughs> so I've done, this This is a 32 inch wide door. I started with a 36 inch wide uh, threshold, new one. Um, I had to cut some off each end or I would have lost one of my mounting holes on the end. So as you can see, I've got them notched. This one requires a notch. So this is gonna set in here. And this is the tools you're gonna to need to do this. Now, when you put a threshold in, make sure the part that holds the rubber uh, seal is gonna be under the door. Cause if you turn this around, your seal is gonna be out here and you, you're gonna do no good. So this also, oh, this goes to the garage. And this also has a screen door. Yep, it's gonna mess it. I gotta make sure that it's gonna mess. So now to do the job, if your existing holes don't line up or something, you're gonna need a hammer drill. I just happen to have a good old reliable Bosch. Hammer drill, ha <laughs> ha. So um you're gonna need some. A hammer drill you're going to need uh, I use 3 16 tap cons tap cons are uh, a brand name for a masonry screw now these are some with a um, square uh, uh, these are what they call the bugle heads they will go fit down in, inside that um, threshold now there's some with a um, not a square head, uh, hexagon head, whatever, that you use a wrench or a flat screwdriver to uh, tighten. Don't want these on the threshold. You want the bugle head so they'll re be recessed. These have the Torx uh, heads, which are great. Um, like I said, Tapcon is just a brand name. Um, I don't know what the technical name is, concrete, masonry, screw, thingy, majigger, whatever. Most of them are blue. Um, you'll also need a bit. Now, typically you use a bit smaller than the size you're drilling. Okay, this is, these are 3 16 so we need a, for 3 16 we need a 5 32nd masonry drill bit. And you do want a masonry drill bit. Don't try this with an ordinary cheapo DeWalt or Walmart or whatever drill bit because it's not going to work not unless it's a masonry drill bit I prefer Bosch but the little hardware store I stopped at this morning didn't have them Irwin is well not not my favorite but say Bosch these will usually have and I don't know if this one has one hold on let me pull the cap off I'll have a carbide tip and it, that's yeah this one's got where am I? There I am. Uh oh, I don't know if you can see that. This one has a little hardened tip. Where am I? There I am. So anyway, um, you know, obviously it's going to take me two hands to drill this. Um, uh, I use, I can't remember what I used on the last one. So I've got two and a quarter and two and three quarters. You don't want a real long screw. Trust me, when you start trying to get that tap con in, you just want it to hold enough to uh to hold that threshold and it doesn't take a lot to hold threshold another thing i also do when i do this a little different i use like some uh waterproof pl construction adhesive 
uh, on the end of the screws when or in a hole. I just think it adds a little security. Um, probably not needed, but anyway. Now, I got my threshold in. Let's get off drill bits and stuff. I'm gonna, okay, as we see, you can see here, I don't know if you can see that. That's gonna fit pretty good, except for back here. And I need to either move that one out. I need to probably move that side, this side back out a little bit, have a little bit of room. And so, uh, make sure it's going to line up, like you said, or like I said. Um, make sure it's going to line up, and so I'll open it up. And I think I've got to go get a chisel and take some. Uh, whoops, way too much. Come up over the tile. That's pretty close right there. So I'm going to get the drill bit out and get the drill hooked up. We're going to drill some holes. And I'll come back right afterwards and show you what I've done. Now you can see I got my I, got, I just used my threshold, the uh, holes in the threshold to line uh, start my holes, and I come back, I remove it, and then I just uh, I, I drill down. You can see on the, my drill bit down there where the death I've been drilling. If you don't have a hammer drill, go rent one. Um, like I said, this especially uh, slab foundations are are pretty hard. So anyway, now I'll clean that dust out and uh, get, get, take my threshold, put it back, and get my um, cap cons in there. I'll show you that when I get done. Okay, I'm going to start with the center tap cap con. Get my little 12 volt, and if anybody's drove these things for you, you know how hard they are. Let's see what this, I love my 12 volts, Bosch. They're plenty powerful to do this. One down. A lot of times you don't want to go as tight, tighten them all the way up at first. You want to get them all in. I could use the 18 volt boss, but why? <laughs> These things are just awesome. It needs a little bit more. There you go. Now, a little rubber seal. I'm gonna cut that to fit here. Cut that to fit. Press it in and I'll be done. And that's how you install a threshold on a slab foundation. Um, I'll come back also and right here at the edges, I'm gonna caulk this, even though this, if this was a door to the exterior, I'd, I'd certainly caulk, I'd caulk uh, along here and I still may just for looks and caulk along th that side. Uh, but yeah, if this is a, uh, even though this has a rubber, the, the threshold has a rubber seal on the bottom, um, I have no problem putting more caulk on them so um sealant uh so there you go um donald blue collar diy.com stolen threshold on a slab foundation wood cross space foundation is a lot easier bolts come with that or wood wood screws and you just you know get it get it lined up with your door screw it down and you're golden so anyway hey like and subscribe, like and subscribe. Hey, put it on your playlist and check out my other social media, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. Uh, we've got that drawing coming up. Uh, I'll get to it, guys. I'm, I'm working anywhere from 8 to 12 hours a day here to try and get these rental homes ready and get them back on the market for the first of the month. So I uh, appreciate it. Hey, Donald, I'm out. <laughs>